Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. So if you guys haven't heard by now, Call of Duty World War II is officially the next Call of Duty title. It's pretty exciting. It's very interesting, very intriguing. I don't, however, want to be one of those guys that says uh, Call of Duty has changed forever. It is so good again. Uh, make Call of Duty great again. Because it's, you know, we don't know. We haven't played the game. We don't have any gameplay. We haven't seen anything about the game. We've just seen a picture and we know what it's probably going to be about. So, uh, I don't want to be one of those guys that goes too far in and, and just says it's going to be the best game ever. But it is very interesting that it is going to be World War II. I think that is really cool that they decided to do what the community wanted and go back in time and bring Call of Duty back to the ground. Um, so again, if you haven't heard, the actual trailer release is supposed to be this Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and the thing about the trailer is that it's most likely going to be campaign. I know a lot of people are getting worked up about there's a trailer coming. We're finally going to see what this game's all about. If you guys remember back in the day, Call of Duty used to just do campaign first, and then they wouldn't talk about multiplayer until later on down the road. Sometimes they would even tease the multiplayer at the end of the campaign trailer. Um, and over the last couple of years, especially with Black Ops 3, they've kind of changed up the rhythm. I know, especially with Black Ops 3, they ended up releasing a lot of multiplayer information really, really early just because Call of Duty was in a very bad place and they wanted to get people excited as quick as possible before they really lost their fan base. Um, and again, I feel like we're kind of in the same situation again this year. I feel like we're in that spot where they should be releasing this stuff early to get people hype again because Call of Duty has just been on a downward spiral and I feel like it's not in a good place right now. Um, and we haven't seen anywhere near as many leaks and um, uh, little teasers and stuff that we did with Black Ops 3. Now, it is only the end of April and I'm, I'm assuming that we'll probably start seeing a lot more of that now especially with the game being confirmed and a trailer being confirmed on Wednesday um, but it'll be really interesting to see how all that goes so there was a Call of Duty marketing poster slash cardboard box thing that was leaked I think yesterday or two days ago that had some information on the game on it first off boots on the ground multiplayer it said Call of Duty World War II multiplayer engages players grounded fast-paced combat across many of World War II's most iconic locations Players will also enjoy exciting new ways to interact and socialize with their friends and the Call of Duty community. So I think it's interesting that they said uh, that it's going to be fast paced, boots on the ground. It, it literally brings us back to the good old days of Call of Duty. That's what makes a Call of Duty game great. That's the perfect combination is a fast paced game where we're running around like actual soldiers. We're not boost jumping around like... Uh, like futuristic aliens so uh, I think it's great that we're going back to the way it used to be and it's really cool that they said players will also enjoy exciting new ways to interact and socialize with their friends in the Call of Duty community it's really interesting to see what they're talking about here I know there's a lot of speculation a lot of youtubers have talked about the possibility of what could happen I was thinking back to you guys know if you've ever played on the Wii there was that little lobby where you had your me characters where they all walked around and you could kind of like go through and see everyone I think it would be cool if they did something like that in the pregame lobby. Instead of everyone just sitting in a pregame lobby, you're actually on this little ma like map thing where you can run around and see what your guns look like, see what your camos look like. You can customize your classes in the pregame lobby while you're standing there, shoot your gun, see what it looks like while you're running around, you know, put like uh, emblems or player cards on your weapon and, and run around and just see what they look like in that little lobby. So I think that would be something that's really, really interesting. It'll be really cool to see what, they're doing, what they do. I know they're trying to be innovative, always trying to bring new stuff to the table. Um, and then the next thing is High Octane Cooperative. Now there's been a lot of questions cycling around this. It says, Call of Duty World War II's co-op mode unleashes a new and original story. Play with your friends in this next level standalone game experience full of unexpected and uh, and adrenaline pumping moments. So I don't think it's gonna be zombies. I know a lot of people are saying zombies, and it's very weird how they worded it. They said new and original story. Um, you when you when you hear new and original, you think it's not gonna be zombies, but then they say story. So maybe it's just another zombie storyline. I don't know. We're going back to World War II, so it could be Nazi zombies, but I feel like that would just be copying Treyarch. So. It'll be really cool to see what they do. I honestly don't think it's going to be zombies. I think it's going to be something different. I think they're going to try to bring something new. Obviously, it's not going to be related to the campaign because it does say standalone game. Um, but again, full of unexpected adrenaline pumping moments. Who knows? Who knows what it could be? I hope it's zombies, kind of. I just hope they don't ruin it. If it is, we'll see what happens. There's a trailer coming Wednesday. I'm sure that they will leak part of that as well in this trailer. If not, very, very soon. 
Uh, and then last but not uh, last but not least is probably the most important, and that is the fact that there is going to be a beta for the game. Unfortunately, it says private beta that you have to pre-order, but because of the state of Call of Duty right now, I would absolutely not be surprised to see them open the beta like they did with Black Ops 3 the week later for everyone. Because with Call of Duty being in the, the state that it is right now, there's going to be a lot of people that aren't going to pre-order the game just because Call of Duty has been not so great over the last couple years. So why would I pre-order a game when I don't know what it's going to be about? It might suck again. Uh, so I definitely think that that beta will become open for this, at least the second weekend. We'll see what happens, but uh, I'm just glad they're having a beta, and I'm really excited to see what they talk about. Again, guys, I don't want to be that guy that's like, Call of Duty's a great again. It's going to be good, because it might not be. We don't know yet. Just because it's got a title doesn't mean it's going to be a good game. So we'll see what happens. I'm honestly pumped to see this trailer. I really hope it's, there's some multiplayer involved, but it's cool. We're going back to World War II, and we're going back to Call of Duty's roots. So uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I have a personal channel where I upload vlogs, vlog-esque type videos. If you guys want to check that out, I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description below. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.